Hey guys, what's up? Here I am at the Centennial Park in Etobicoke. And today I am going in defense of Compile Heart, which is a company that nobody likes because of their infamous fan service. So let's begin! Don't laugh. I'm gonna cut, cut that part. Ever since I started this channel, there always seems to be some kind of misunderstanding about me. Occasionally, I criticize fan service in JRPGs in some videos, but in others, I seem to highlight it. Hell, I've recommended tons of games with strong fan service, like the Compile Heart RPGs, for example. And in my streams, I often focus on it whenever it shows up, but mainly so I can make a joke about it. All these interactions have left people pretty much confused about where I stand in the matter. Let me clarify then. First of all, I'm not narrow-minded when it comes to it. Sorry, but I just can't think in black and white. Truth is, sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And there's fan service for all types of gamers out there. I know the first thing that comes into mind when the term is mentioned is sexualized female characters. But trust me, there's always something for everybody out there. However, my biggest gripe with it is that most of the time, if not all the time, it serves no purpose whatsoever to the story. Unless the game's focus is on that, fan service is just, well, kinda there. Women sell. We all know that already. So the sexier they look nowadays, the bigger the chances the game will appeal to modern audiences, I guess. Anyway, sometimes I like it because I'm a guy, I like girls, and they keep looking better with each generation. Not gonna lie, I like staring at them. But if I want to get into a really good story, dark, deep, philosophical, intellectual, uh, political, or etc., I just don't feel like fan service should be there. It works for a lot of you just fine, I know, but sometimes it just doesn't for me. Take the Trails of Cold Steel arc, for example. They're overloaded with fan service, alright, but the story, the character development, and even most of the soft plots often go the serious way. And if they want to look serious while showing off characters in these outfits with these body designs, they're doing a terrible job, in my opinion. And that's when I question fan service. That's when I criticize it. Sure, I'm still going to enjoy the eye candy it has to offer, but really, it prevents me from taking seriously some events or scenes of the story. Now, take a compiled RPG, for example. While I think they are very creative when it comes to battle systems, their stories are often, well, not their biggest selling point. So unlike the Trail series, barely anyone plays these games for their stories. I play them for the combat in them, but also for the fan service. Like, I know what I'm getting into whenever I play these RPGs. So I'm not gonna lie again, these girls are one reason why I play and recommend compile hard games. Take now an RPG like Xenogears, for example. It is universally recognized as one of the best stories ever written in a video game. Does it have any fan service? Barely! There's some small sexualization of the main heroine, but it doesn't really focus on that. So my point is, Xenogears proves you don't need fan service in your RPG if you want it to succeed. Sexualization sells, women sell, sure, but a great story without it also sells. So in the end, fan service is utterly pointless and completely unnecessary most of the time. Do you see the difference now? It's not that I'm attacking fan service, it's just that I criticize it. I give an opinion about it. Sometimes I'm cool with it, sometimes I'm not. In other words, to me it's 100% circumstantial. That doesn't mean, however, that I'll reject a seriously and carefully developed plot like the Trails games have just because it shows off some kinky stuff. In conclusion, I can't give you a simple yes or no. It depends on the game, on the circumstances, and sometimes even on my mood as well. I can't be close-minded on this subject. And if you can't understand that, then it's your problem. One last thing I can say about it, though, is that I rarely take it seriously nowadays. And maybe neither should you. So whenever I praise it or trash it, don't take me seriously either. Because maybe, after all, fan service is actually not supposed to be taken seriously which is the reason why I often make jokes about it. If your game, if your software that you've worked hard to develop for is devoid of fan service, then 
It is trash. <laughs> it's trash. Why? It is a considered a s equivalent to a sub ninety Metacritic title, and it it shouldn't be. Fuck. But why is fan service so important to you? Because if your game does not have cute anime girls, then it's shit. Really? Yes. That's your reason. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, stop. <laughs>